Hello everyone, my name is Whitney Akinola and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss how to mask sensitive data using DataWeave. Today this tutorial is going to be a very beginner friendly tutorial, so I'm going to try to explain everything in this tutorial. All right, so we're starting with DataWeave Playground. For those of you that have not seen DataWeave Playground, it is an online DataWeave text editor. It allows you to play with different uh, payload strings, different variables, and test them against your script. And then in real time, it will put out an output. So just to get started, I have a payload here and it's a JSON array of objects. And these objects are pretty sensitive because you can see uh, they represent a person's personal information like their name, their date of birth, and the SSN. In the United States, an SSN or a social security number is a person's identification number and it's usually used if you live in the country. Now, I'm unsure about other countries what you guys call your personal identification numbers, but if you can put that in the comment box and share, that would be awesome because I'd like to know. So my beginning script starts with the word payload. And you can see that the output mirrors the input there. So there is nothing special. We just start with our base. But we want to do something interesting with the payload. We want to mask the full SSN, right? We don't want to expose it. Our client says the SSN is sensitive. So how do we do that? Well, there's actually a function called mask in DataWeave. So let's go ahead and use the mask function. So when masking a payload or some variable of information, you can, you start with your payload or your variable followed by the keyword mask and inside that mask, we want to know what are we going to mask. So we're going to mask the SSN. So all SSN or all objects with an SSN field or key we will look for. So we're going to mask everything that has a key of SSN. And there's a helper function called with. And all with does is says, take this string. It could be other things, but for now, let's take this string and we're going to mask all the SN, SSN values with this particular string. So we want to keep the SSN values format. We don't want to change that. We want three digits followed by a dash and two digits followed by another dash and four digits. So I'm going to replace the digits with an asterisk. So three asterisks dash two asterisks dash four asterisks. So wait up. It says unable to resolve reference of mask. Why is that? Well, it's because mask is not already imported into the data weave script. So it's not a part of data weave's core modules. It's a bonus module. So we actually have to import the module that has the mask function written in it. So to do that, you can see I have an import statement on line four, and I'm gonna uncomment out that statement. And so I'm telling DataWeave to import everything, all the functions, that's what the star stands for, from 
data weaves util values module. And you see the output changed in real time. And we were able to mask the SSN value without changing the format. So another common way to do this would be to pass in the path element. And to do that, we use the field uh, path element. So we want to get the field and we just enclose this SSN with around the field function. So you get the same, same output. Now, can I actually change this? Do I have to use asterisks all the time? Well, no, you can use anything. Let's try Apple, okay? What about orange? Okay, how about my favorite number? Okay, what about an object? Well, it looks like an object will probably work. Let's see. All right, so yeah, pretty much any valid data type I'm able to mask with. So that's pretty cool and really powerful because we could use one line of code to mask everything in our collection or our object. Now, what about the use case where we want to just do a portion of the SSN? What about the use case where a customer service representative asks their customer, hey, can you identify yourself and pass? give me the last four of your social? That's a common use case. Well, we don't want that customer service representative to know the entire social security number, but we want that representative to know just the last four digits to be able to identify the customer, okay? So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to introduce to you an old faithful. I'm pretty sure a majority of you have used this. It's called replace. Now, replace is a part of the core data weave module. So data weaves core module, and that comes already shipped with your data weave script. So you do not have to import any extra modules to run uh, replace. So I commented out four so that I can prove to you that you do not have to import anything. So now let's do um, replace. So I'm going to cheat because I don't want to rewrite uh, this snippet. So let me go and get my code snippet. Thank you for your patience as I copy. And let's, let's look at this code snippet. What does it do? Well, we have a payload and we're going to map or iterate through the entire payload. And we're going to basically copy everything exactly as is. So first names, all of the middle initials, last names, date of birth, you name it. That's all gonna be copied over. So map allows us to iterate over a collection and do some things to that collection, okay? So, but what about the SSN? The client didn't say remove the SSN. The client said mask the SSN. And in particular, we're only going to mask the first five digits, right? We're going to keep the last four exposed. So let me add SSN in. So I use to do this, I'm taking the current uh, object and I'm getting the value where the key is 
SSN. So for everything SSN, I'm getting a value. So you can see here, we have our output mirrors our input again, right? It's the same as saying, typing that payload. So now we need to do something interesting to our uh, SSN. So we are going to use replace. So to use replace, we type the keyword replace. And what replace does is it takes a portion of your current string and it replaces it with another string. So, and it uses um, a regular expression to do that. And it's very similar to how replace is done in Java for those who are familiar with Java development. So replace takes a regular expression. I'm going to put after the replace keyword two forward slashes and my regular expression goes in my forward slashes, okay? So we're gonna start with a caret. A caret is means start with. Start our regular expression with. So we take this caret and then we want to pick up the first three digits. So to do a digit, we're doing a hard bracket and we're gonna say from zero to nine because our digit can be from zero to nine. And then we wanna get the first three, so we do curly brace, three. And then we wanna match a dash. So we do dash. We have two more digits to get. So we do a similar hard brace from zero to nine followed by a curly brace and here we go that's our regular expression now this looks familiar the with helper again so we're going to take this with helper and we're going to replace it with something but do we want to replace it with an empty string well that's not the requirement so we're going to replace it with a formatted SSN string where the first five digits are masked with asterisks. So let's give that format. So there we go. The first five digits are masked and our customer service clerk, they can see the last four digits and they can verify the last four digits with the customer. So this is cool, but can we do better? Can we use less code to do this? Well, actually we can, and we can reuse the mass function to do it. So let me show you, we're gonna refactor this code and we're gonna reuse this mass function. So I'm gonna go to line four, uncomment out, line four, and then I'm going to take everything from the map that we don't use, we don't need. So um, lines seven through 10, we're just repeating everything that's in the, um, in the collection. We're not really doing anything interesting with it, it's just copying it over. So let's go ahead and delete that, okay. So then let me delete this here. And now let's write mask. Let's replace the mask. And this time we're going to take the SSN field, right? Just like we did before. And then we're gonna do a width, right? Because we need to know what we're gonna replace um, our SSN values with, okay? So that's the same. Now this is where dollar sign comes in handy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put an expression in the width. So because I'm gonna put expression and I want to evaluate this expression, 
evaluate um, this line of code as an expression, I'm going to put it in parentheses after the width, right? So now I'm going to take, I have this dollar sign SSN. I don't think I need the dollar sign SSN, right? But I want to say, I want to do this. So what did I do? So what I did was I took the payload. I said for my payload, let's mask everything that has SSN in it. But now what are we gonna mask it with? Well, we're gonna mask it with the current object. So at object position zero or object position one, etc., we're gonna take that current object and then we're gonna replace whatever's in the current object with asterisk, 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 dash, asterisk, asterisk, right? And how do we know that we, what we're replacing it with? We pass in this regular expression. So yep, that's how you do it. That is how you mask a portion of the SSN.